Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use photo filters on photomania.net website. So the first thing we'll do is open up our web browser and I'm going to go to Unsplash and download this image. You can download any image, you can just search here, find a different picture if you like. I'll put a link to this particular picture in the YouTube description so you can download the same image if you like or you can choose a different picture. We'll open up this folder on my desktop and we'll drag and drop this picture into the folder and then we're going to go to a different website and I'll put a link to this website in the YouTube description as well and it's called photomania.net now you can download the software to your Android or Apple devices here but I'm going to go ahead and click on the start create effects here so when I click on that it's going to ask me to upload an image so I'll click here and I'll select that picture I've downloaded and click open so now I've got the picture in here, there's various options in here, you've got all these different types of filters. So this is, the first one it's selected is called artistic, and you've got sketches, paintings, watercolours, magical, you've got all these different types of effects that you can apply. So let's go ahead and click on filters first, and we can click on one of these, so let's just say we look at movie for example. So we click on that one, and it will apply that effect to the image. You'll see there's a watermark down here. So whenever you click uh, on one of these filters, it's going to apply this watermark. You can remove it by just moving your mouse cursor over it and click remove watermark. And then that watermark will be removed. But maybe it's nice to leave it there because you're promoting uh, this particular website. So if you were to share this on social media somewhere on your Instagram or on your Facebook page, then at least you're promoting that business, which I think is a nice thing to do if they're giving you these tools for free. So if you want to get rid of the filter, just simply drag this arrow down and that will remove the filter. You can click on this paintbrush here and then you can start to actually draw only parts of that filter on the image. So you could go maybe around the edge for example and apply the filter only there. So it's entirely your choice how you use the tool. You can change the intensities, uh, you can click the erase button, you can start to erase that effect around certain edges. So you can be quite um, you know, pre precise with your work, what you're doing inside of here. So again to remove it um, Let's just click cancel here. To remove that effect, you just click here and it will say, this action will discard all the edits on your photo. I'm gonna click discard, and then we're back to the original raw filter, and we can just drag down the intensity, and now we're back to the original image. And you can go ahead and click on these other ones and experiment with them. I'll leave you to experiment. You can go around and play with those. So let's um, click the back arrow. So you can see I'll drag down here to remove that filter. I'll click the back arrow, and then maybe let's look at maybe uh, let's say magical for example and then you've got some nice filter effects in here some of these look really nice right you can play around with them you can change the intensity and then you can use the paintbrush and you can paint only certain parts with this particular effect uh, maybe you can just go around the edges like this quite quickly and have that sort of effect there and if you go into the image where you want to use the eraser so you can use the eraser just reduce the size of the brush and you can just like get rid of it around the sort of like the picture here and just have that effect around the edges so it's really really fast really easy to do you can do all of this stuff in other image editing software like photoshop or gimp and stuff like that but if you want to do something really nice and quick and simple then this tool seems to do the job very well so i'm going to click here and discard that change and we just drag this down and i'll leave you to experiment with these other filters there's loads of different ones that you can click on here. Now there's some other nice features as well. So let's drag this down. You can click on fun here. And in fun you've got all these this, these different options in here. So you've got like, uh, let's, uh, let's actually go back to here. Let's look at joyful, right? So in joyful you've got all of these different filters. You can do simple things like click on here. And then you've got like the king of hearts or you've got the queen of hearts, right? So that picture of a lady, so you might have Queen of Hearts, you've got the playing cards there, and then that photo is embedded in here. And you've just done that with a simple mouse click. You can do things like um, have the photo in an eye. Preferably, you'd probably have um, some sort of, um, for this effect here, you probably have some sort of, uh, what would I call it, PNG file. So that it's got a transparent background, it will look a lot better, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look at a few others. So this, 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 this little postcard type stuff. I'll leave you to experiment. There's lots of different options in here for you to play around with. Um, we'll click the back arrow here and let's have a look at one other one. Maybe let's have a look at tech. And then you've got like an iPhone 5. Then you've got the picture inside the iPhone. So you can do some pretty cool stuff. You can put your file in like this little business news sort of thing. 
We can click on e card and then you can make a little card out of this. So let's say it's a, a birthday or something. You can make a little birthday celebration with a picture of yourself inside of it and it's done the card for you, you can remove the watermark and you can just save this and email this to your friend or send it to Facebook or your Twitter account or wherever you want to email it to. This one here, Overlays, with Overlays when you click on this it's going to ask you to install a Chrome extension so just follow the basic on-screen um, uh, instructions to install this overlay and then you've got some other effects that you can apply to the to the image itself so you can do like these glitter effects uh, you've got like this circle effect here and it will overlay on the image and then you can reduce the intensity you can start playing around with these sort of uh, more more of these effects so I think this is pretty cool I kind of like this sort of effect here that I've just done just randomly I've done that effect I might take the brush uh, take the eraser and you can probably erase out a little bit of this around the edge it just looks like looks quite dynamic that looks pretty cool so I'm going to use this particular image I'm going to click down here in fact I'll leave the watermark there and I want to save it so you can print the image you can save it you can share it via social media here or you can download it so let's download the image it's going to say it takes a few little seconds to download and it will start downloading the picture we can drag this across and now we can drag that image into here and we can close down the browser so we're pretty much done with taking a raw image that we downloaded in the first place let's put it on this side and then we can see the edited version so they look pretty similar the quality is still maintained you have got this watermark in there and it will resize the image right so it's got it's not going to be of the same clarity but it's pretty good uh, it's done quite a good compression on the image it won't be the same resolutions but it will be perfectly fine to share via social media and I think that's what really what this tool is all about applying some effects uh, where are we let's close that one this one here uh, this one here um, it's really about applying these effects quite quickly and effectively and you don't need to download any software you don't need GIMP you don't need Photoshop you can just go ahead and use these tools to apply these effects um, and then share it via your social media so let's close this down that's the end of this tutorial I hope you find it useful have fun using that tool and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial